Ain't a fragrance in the world gonna keep a man that don't wanna be kept. Hello beautiful besties and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back besties. Today we are talking about my favorite, we are talking about dating, love, and how to drive him crazy. I have 10 fragrances to share with you that's gonna help you do that. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous dueling. So if that sounds like your vibe or your zhuzh, go ahead and take 2.5 seconds First and foremost, drop me your son of the day because I want to know what you're rocking. Two, if you like it here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure you tap the notification bell so that way it notifies you every single time there is a new video on this channel. If you really want to become a bestie, just take it to the next level and come over and say hi on Instagram. Without further ado, we are jumping into this video right now. Hey besties! Allow me to start with this. One of the most sexiest things that I find in a woman, how else would I say it? On a woman, it's her confidence. How she carries herself, how she believes in herself, how she knows her self-worth. So I know that yes, you know, a little cleavage, some might say a little clavicle is what I like to say, a whole lot of shoulder, uh, some legs, or as my grandmother would call them, gams, lips, smelling good, soft body, tone body, whatever kind of body you have, loving your body that you're in, is confidence and it is sexy. So one of the most things that I would say would drive a man crazy on a woman outside of smelling good is her self-confidence. Have confidence in yourself, love yourself, know your self-worth, and do not allow anyone to dim your light or make you feel less than or to make you compromise to be something that you're not so that you can fit into something that you will never be. If you got that, hit the like button. It was deep, it was deep. I'm always gonna share something, it was deep. If you didn't, hit the subscribe. And you just need to come back to the channel. Okay, so you guys, let's jump right in. Okay, I'm gonna start with something new. If you follow me on Instagram, you recently seen that I went to the Chris Collins launch for his new fragrance, Lust. It is called Lust. This fragrance is, I'm going to say it, Sexy. When I smelt it, I was at the table and I was experiencing it for the first time. We were doing like a first impression. So I took the cap off. I went ahead and I sprayed it and I sprayed it in the cap just like that. And I took my nose up to it. And before I could even get there, you guys, I was like, Oh my God. Now one thing that if you're not new to the channel, you know about me is that I love sexy fragrance. I love it bold. I love it hot. I love it heavy. I love it strong. I love to be able to smell a fragrance and automatically it transports me to a time and place or something that I've done or I want to do or a place I want to be. And immediately when I smelled this, I got date night vibes. I got hot, heavy, roll in the sheets, wake up the next morning, go to brunch. Oh my God, my whole life. That's what I got from this fragrance. It just definitely made me feel like, ooh, you know what I mean? There are some fragrances, and we'll go through them in this video, where the sexiness is different. Not all sex appeals are created equal. This one gave me a little bit of a bold, confident, strong, a boss mode kind of sexy. Let me give you a few of the notes and then we'll talk. This is dark chocolate hazelnut, walnut, forest is very pronounced in this fragrance. Benzoin, risen, sandalwood, and musk. In my opinion, it's intoxicating, it's sensual, but at the same time, it's addictive. Once I smelt it, I wanted to smell it again, again, and again. It's dark chocolate, it's oody, it's sexy, it's sensual. It just gave me all the vibes that I love for a sexy fragrance to give me. This is something that I would put on, I would wear out on a date night, especially if the date night was gonna lead to the next morning. If you know, you know. Chris, congratulations on this fragrance. It is absolutely Sharia approved. <laughs> it is so sexy. I told them at the table at the dinner, I'm like, oh my gosh, now my Valentine's Day choices just got that much harder because this is definitely gonna be in the forefront. I highly encourage you, if you have not got a whiff of it, to check it out. I will have all of the information linked in the description box below. This right here is good, good. I move on. Now, for your type of date night that you wanna go on and you wanna drive him crazy, I notice that men don't typically like, even my guy, they don't typically like the kind of fragrances that I like. Like, I want something hot, heavy, bold, oak moss, birch, leather. 
um, Sycamore by Chanel, Lee Lion by Chanel. And my guy is like, what are you doing? Like, where are you going? Where's the fire at? I'm like, I am the fire. Don't you see me? I am hot and I am purring. Oh, oh, and this fragrance here, it left me purring. Yes, it left me purring. This is a purring fragrance. I'm just telling you. I had to go back and like, you know, this is a purring fragrance. I like my fragrances to make me purr. My guy don't always like that. He be like, what is going on? Why are you so smoky? They like fruity, sweet, tropical, floral, which is nice, but that's not always my choice. But I'm gonna give you one that can bring both to the yard, okay? And the guys made a song about it. I talk about it all the time, so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time, but it is Flower Bomb. It's a warm floral, vanilla, jasmine, orange blossom, patchouli. This is another sensual, intoxicating fragrance. If you can get the body creaming, you can layer these two together, you will have a perfect fragrance. This is gonna get on you, hold you tight, well, at least it does for me, and never let me go. It's long lasting, it projects, it has a beautiful sillage. It's intoxicating, it's sensual, it's it's sexy. It is like an explosive bomb that happens and you're just like, oh my gosh, like you're surrounded with tons of beautiful flowers and rose petals and it's rose and vanilla and patchouli. It is fantabulous, darling. You cannot go wrong with this. Drive him crazy, flower bomb. I move on. Now another one, perfect for cold weather, something that you might want to get his attention, snatch his attention, hold his attention. Not too serious. These fragrances aren't to be taken too serious. They're still kind of, I would say flirtatious, playful, um, I don't know what your next move is gonna be. I'm still trying to, you know, captivate your attention. Will there be a second date, a follow-up date? Or do you just wanna spend another night again? I'm just saying, do you even wanna wake up and go home? Are you even going back to pay rent at your place? Or a mortgage, whatever it is. This is that kind of fragrance, Delina. And this is Delina exclusive. Inside of this, we have lychee, bergamot, pear, rose, oud, vanilla, and amber. This fragrance is amazing in cold weather. If a breeze hits you in the face, and this is walking in front of you, like you wore this and you spray it heavy. Now for me, I know you're gonna ask, Shrey, what do you deem as heavy? 10, 15, if Marcia, if you're watching, yes girl, me and you, 25, okay? 25 is what we're going in with. I spray from the crown of my head to the inner ankle, down by my feet. How about that? But this, you cannot go wrong with. Long lasting, beast mode, sillage, projection. This fragrance, as well as the man, is gonna get on you, hold you tight, and not let you go. I move on. Now, I always pride myself on being honest. I can tell you that these fragrances will get a lot of attention. I can tell you that these fragrances are gonna hold a lot of attention. Hey baby, how you doing? Oh, you smell good. I, it's gonna bring all that. But in no way am I telling you that these fragrances are gonna keep a man at home. I'm just not saying that. I'm not saying that. It's up to him too. Let's put the onus back on the man. Okay, we gotta keep it real because I don't want people going out buying fragrances talk about, oh, this gonna keep, it's, it's not. You, can we just, Keep it all the way 100? Okay, good. You can't keep a man who don't want to be kept. I'm just saying, ain't a fragrance in the world gonna keep a man that don't want to be kept. I said what I said. All right, let's move on. A flirty fragrance. Now, if I was going out and it was like, <laughs> I don't really know what I want to do, but I think I might want to go. <laughs> if you got it, you got it. I'm gonna reach for a fragrance like this because to me, this is just going to get his attention. It's gonna help me to not take myself so serious. It's gonna help me to just be happy, upbeat, sexy. I'm always gonna be flirting with him. I'm gonna be like trying to <laughs> get him to know my outfit, my clothes, my demeanor. Everything is gonna be like, it could. You could, I, it might, it, it could go that way. I'm just saying it might. This right here, this is a flirty fragrance. This is Eden Juicy Apple by Kayali. This is black currant, lychee, grapefruit. This is a beautiful fragrance, you guys. I'm on my third bottle. I tell you all the time, this can just be a topper fragrance as well. This is definitely fruity, flirty, foo-foo, la-la. It's girly, it's happy, it's upbeat. It's all the things that the guys love. It's sweet, it's sugary, it's vanilla, it's berries. It's just, this is the way to go. If you if you take one fragrance away, well, if you want that kind of date night, that kind of time to be remembered, this is the way to go. I move on. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here at all, okay, at all. If you watch the last five videos, I've talked about this fragrance the last five videos. It is what it is, I said what I said, I'm saying it again. Latte de Cherry by New Notes. I cannot get enough of this fragrance, you guys. Yes, I've been talking about it since the cows have been home. Cherry, almond, red berries, orange spices, sandalwood, tonka bean, musk down in the base. 
it's good good it had me purring all night long eight hours plus on my skin I can't get enough of it I'm obsessed with it I love it I have a dent in here already I have to tell myself stop spraying it this is a 50 mil it's gonna go real fast this is retailing for $222 I remember the price because I've been telling everybody about it yes I have a 20% off discount code it's gonna be linked in the description box below I don't really have a lot of cherry fragrances to be honest with you I wasn't even really a cherry girl like that I wasn't I wasn't even really a fruity girl this came a few other cherries I always loved Tom Ford lost cherry and all of a sudden I have seem to go sh cherry crazy. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm like obsessed with it. And I know we use that word a lot, but you guys, when I say it, I mean it, okay? It, it's obsessed crazy for me. Like this fragrance, is, I just let it go grow. This is good, okay, bye. Now this is not my favorite. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've said this many times before. I like it when I wear it, my guy really likes it. Hold on, did I miss on my face? Cause you know, I'm trying to be sexy in the video. I'm bringing the video to life. Anyways, um. Yeah, you know, but it reminded me of Seven Doors and Cinderella. No, 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 not Cinderella. What was her name? Snow White, Snow White and the Seven Doors. Remember that she had that apple? This fragrance always reminded me of that. Hypnotic Poison by Dior. I always love this fragrance. Bitter Almond, Jasmine, Vanilla, and Musk. Beautiful fragrance. It's not that I didn't love it, it's just that I wasn't checking for it. A lot of you were like, when I first started my channel, you don't have hypnotic, you don't have hypnotic, and I'm like, no, no. So I go to the Sephora, I play with it, I'm like, okay, I get it, it's good. Let me buy it, so I bought it, I sprayed it, I have like a huge dent in here, well, it's not that huge. But I mean, for me, it's a huge dent. And I mostly wear it to bed. I used to wear it if we're gonna like go out and grab a bite to eat, but nothing serious, you know what I mean? It's not one of my hot heavy. I told you, I'm a hot heavy girl. Did you notice any of the notes that I said? I said bitter, almond, jasmine, vanilla, and musk. This is the EDT. It's not given the vibes that I am typically drawn towards. Oh my God. He's always like, oh, you smell so good. It, it's, I've heard people say, and I would agree to a certain, deg to a certain degree, that it does smell a little bit like Play-Doh. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Not really, but a little bit, a little bit, it does. Well, Yeah, but it is good. It is sweet, it is sensual, it is addictive. I get it. If I was a man and I was, <laughs> I don't even know how we got there. And I smelled this on a woman, okay, let's just say that. I would be like, okay. <laughs> I see you, how you doing? I, I would, I would because it is sexy. So yes, let's go there, let's go there. Okay, I move on, I move on. Sometime you guys, it, it be like that sometime. Hi, how you doing? Another fragrance that I'm out of, okay, I'm out of it. But this would be an amazing, I got a new one, I need to open it. Oh, I'm gonna do an unboxing. Not right now, not right now. But go with House of Siage Minnie Mouse. This is so good every time I wear this. He's like, mm. <laughs> well, what are you wearing? You know what I mean? It's just like, it's, uh, it's so good. It's it's the creaminess, it's the marshmallow, but more than anything, it's the raspberry. I said this before, the notes in here, marshmallow, whipped cream, raspberry, coconut, it's blended to perfection in each note in this fragrance to me and on me gets a little bit of time to shine. I smell the coconut, I smell the raspberry, I smell the whipped cream, I smell the marshmallow. And then when it gets on the body and it sits and it enthrusts and engusts itself with you and your body becomes one with it, it's like, God, I smell so good. But this is a different kind of sexy and a different kind of smelling good, um, in my opinion, compared to something like lust. Both sexy, but two different kind of sexy. Now, if I was gonna stay in the house, if I was gonna go like on a day date, if I was gonna play around, flirt, play in your face, flirt in your face, I would probably reach for something like this. You know what I mean? It's that kind of night, it's that kind of evening, it's that kind of dusk till dawn. But if I wanna capture your attention, hold your attention, <laughs> drop draws, draws, no, jaws, oh Lord, help me. Drop jaws, I'm gonna reach for lust. I'm gonna reach for this. I want you to just know that I know and you need to know that I'm that girl. If you don't know, I'm gonna let you know tonight. I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna drive you crazy. You're gonna think about me way after I've gone. When you're at work the next day and you're closing that deal, you're like, dang, I wonder what Sheree's doing. Uh-huh, yeah, you might even pick up your phone and just shoot me a quick text like, what are you doing? And don't say W-Y-D or whatever it is. Don't give me no acronyms. Fully text me, hey, what are you doing? Thinking about you. I move on, I move on. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on these next two, only because I talk about them all the time, you guys. I don't wanna be redundant, but I'm always gonna tell you the truth. I'm not gonna tell you nothing that I'm not reaching for. I will share a review with you, but if I'm telling you what I'm doing and what I'm recommending, I'm recommending what I'm know. Why would I send you to a restaurant that I really don't like? Why would I send you to a restaurant that 
I really wouldn't eat at myself. I can't do that. Now, if you ask me what's new, what's just opened up, I can share it with you that. But if you say, oh, but what do you think about it? I'm not going to share that with you because I don't. I don't think about it. That's why I haven't went. So that's how it is with fragrance. Friends, tell friends the truth. Okay, Donna born in Roma. I have a quick story time with this. Black currant, jasmine, bourbon, vanilla. It's sexy, it's syrupy, it's woody down in the base. This right here is amazing. You can put this on and you're definitely gonna captivate his attention. Now, a woman left in the DMs and she left it in the DMs. So, um, not in the DMs, she left it on uh, in the comment section. So I feel I could share because she left it in the comment section. She said Donna Born and Roman got me pregnant. And that, that's what she said. She said, cause I was recommending fragrance. She was like, girl, I know you're telling the truth with this because Donna Born and Roma got me pregnant. It just had the guy just like, okay. And nine months later, a, a, a baby was there. And the fragrance that she said that she wore when that was happened or when it happened or how it happened, what had happened was she had wore Donna Born and Roma. So by Valentino. So it's gonna be in a, it's, it's, it's in a, take your time, take your time. I'm not saying it's gonna do that for everybody, but that was her experience with it. And I know it to be sexy as well. This one is kind of syrupy. It's kind of sticky. It's got that black current in the beginning. And I know they have other flankers, but this being the original will always have my heart. I move on. I didn't say I wasn't gonna get the other flankers. Okay, we move in, we move in. Oh, now this one is my favorite. Okay, it's, uh, they're all my favorite, but you guys, I, you know I've been talking about this one like crazy. This right here, vanilla, it's candy, lemon, rum, orange blossom. It's gourmand-ish. It's, it's sticky. It's like candy, lemon, icing on a cake, like on a lemon pound cake. If you really know somebody who can really bake, and I can't, and I'm gonna say this, I can't bake, you guys, because I can't follow directions. I, I'm really not a good, I, it's the creativity in me that's like, I don't wanna do that. But why do I have to put three eggs? I'm putting two eggs and an egg white and a little bit of applesauce. It didn't call for that. But see, that's what I'm gonna do because I can't follow directions. I have, I have, a, <laughs> I have a hard time following directions. So I always want to do things how I want to do it. You know what I mean? I tell you guys this all the time. But if you know somebody who can really bake, the reason why I started the whole story, if you know someone who can really bake and they make that, what is it called? I don't know, you know that cake that comes in that pan that's like a circle? Oh my God, is it a lemon pound cake? I guess so, I don't know. But they know how to make the icing where they pour it on and it looks like it's dripping off and it's kind of glazy, like kind of clear, but you can still see the white like on a glazed donut. That's this. This is this kind of date. This is the kind of date where he's like, the next morning he wakes up and he's like, and he can smell you on his upper lip because you have put this on. Now let's take a moment of time for that. When you're spraying your fragrance and you know it's gonna be an intimate evening, you do wanna spray, but don't spray the fragrance like that. I see people still doing that. What are we doing? Stop spraying it right here like that. You can't, not when it's gonna be that time. Hold it back so that it can mist on you. So that if he goes in for the mmm and the, going on right now <laughs> oh my god girl what are you doing i don't know what's going on right now but you know what i mean and he's going in for the and the and the oh my god just stop stop you know what i'm oh my god that hypnotic poison okay it dried down okay this right here pick it up it's gonna be linked in the description box pick it up but you guys, spray your fragrance like this and like that and let it mist. Oh, because it's that kind of night. It's that kind of evening. Now you can spray your clothes heavy. If you're going to go out. If it's not going to stain. Like a shirt like this, no rhyme, no reason. I can spray it. It's not going to stain. But to my body, I don't want to go in here. So that if he goes in here and he goes, happen to open his mouth, it's just, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Hopefully he's already brushed his teeth, flossed, mouth washed, rinsed. You know what I mean? So we don't need you sticking any of the fragrance in there. So learn how to spray your fragrances. So you're gonna spray here, here. You're gonna spray at your wrist here. Don't rub it together. Spray and let it go. Crook of your, uh, whatever these things are called, inner, your inner elbows right there, down by your ankles, your inner thighs. I said what I said. The swole or sway, depending on what you want to say, the sway of your back, darling, like right here. And then right, like 
why your trapezius muscles, just in case you happen to turn around and spoon after. <laughs> oh my God, oh yeah, let it go. You guys, this is a good way to go, I have to go. Oh my gosh, and my mom, I hope my mom doesn't. Well, my mom is like this. She would tell me, get it, girl. She is, she's that kind of mother. She's that kind of mother. Everything is not for everybody, you guys. These are all my opinions, and this is all subjective. Fragrances are subjective. They are different and perform different on everybody. I have to say this, because I don't ever want anyone to say, well, Sheree said that this was gonna do this. I'm gonna tell you what it did for me. I'm gonna tell you what I known it to do for the masses. But that doesn't mean it's gonna do that for you. Okay, I move on. Now listen. I'm weighing in on this because I seen somebody else do it or talk about it and I was like, okay, let me bring it back out. And I had an experience with this same encounter of what I'm about to tell you. Now, you know, Beyonce came out with Stay Noir and I was like, okay, all right. I love the opening. I love the beginning. I have it in a travel spray. It came with the travel spray. So when I go on vacation, it's always in my bag. I put it in there. I kept it in there. Every now and again, I'll spray it, right? I haven't developed any new love for it or anything like that. I'm not gonna even hold or keep you or tell you anything like that because that wouldn't be the truth. But I will say that I have heard a lot of women talk about it and they said, yeah, you may not like it. Uh, it may not have got the best uh, you know, um, compliments from the people just like vanilla sex, but they're saying the men love it. So I'm like, well, let me tell the besties that the men are loving it. Honey, clementine, rose, jasmine, myrrh, and amber is what this fragrance contains. You can see I have not made a dent in the bottle. There's not nothing made because I really don't reach for it. But I'm happy to have it in my collection. I wanted to support Beyonce. I told you low key, I found out that I was a part of the beehive. Yeah, don't start flooding the inbox with bees. I just, I low key, you guys, low key, I'm a beehive. I like her, I, I do, I, I, I respect the grind, the hustle, whatever the heck, I don't care about nobody's personal life. You know, I don't be in people's business like that, do you? But I do respect her her hustle and her grind. So the men say they, they love this. Now I will say this, when I was testing it out, for the first time, or the second time I should say. Oh, I don't even have nowhere else to spray. I did spray this on me, and I went downstairs, and we were gonna go out, and my guy was like, oh, that smells sexy. He said that out of his own mouth, and I didn't say anything, so maybe the guys do act like that. Now, I will say this. I don't know what's going on right now. Um, It smells good right now, <laughs> it smells good right now. It is nice. I never said it was a bad fragrance. I just thought it was going to be more. They say that the men like it for the simplicity of it. That it's sweet, it's got the honey, it's got the rose, it's got the freshness with the clementine. Um, if you have it and you bought it, maybe this is a season for it. Maybe bring it back out and try it again. Or maybe you are trying it again. Let me know your thoughts. I'm gonna bring it back over to this side of the uh, of the house. And, and I'm gonna play with it again. And, because I paid for it. I paid for it, I bought it. So I'm gonna bring it back over here and I'm gonna play with it again in a few you know, weeks or so and I'm gonna see what it gives because right now, I don't know. Not bad, not too shabby at all. And it never was, it just wasn't what I, but none of these would be like that hot, heavy, in your face, like Neff by Nishan A. Remember I was telling you guys about that? Like, I love those kind. But not everything needs to be that hot, heavy, and beast mode. It's a time and a place. And that is it. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel today. I love you like I love cooked food. I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, but most of all, stay fabulous. Thanks for watching. Bye.